Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewood channel. So in this video, we will be dealing with a very different topic. That's snake poisoning toxicology. So snakes are the reptiles. So these are very poisonous and they can cause death. So we have around 1.2 million deaths from 2000 to 2019. That is actually 58,000 deaths per year due to snake bite. In India, there are approximately 300 species of snakes and of that 15-17% to are venomous, including the sea snake. So there are reticulated python which can grow up to 25 feet. King Grober is the longest venomous snake in the world which can grow up to 20 feet. And the smallest one is the Brahmini blind snake which is average 10 centimeters. So study of snakes is known as herpetology or serpentology. Snake poisoning is known as ophiotoxemia. Most common poisonous snakes are the common crape, uh, the cobra, the vipers and the sea snakes. Common crape is actually neurotoxic and cobra is also neurotoxic. And then vipers are the hemotoxic and sea snakes are being cardio or myotoxic. So types of venom, that is venom is classified into mainly three. That is neurotoxin cobra, hemotoxins by viper and cytotoxins or uh, all those known as myotoxins, that is rattlesnakes and all. So neurotoxins, they will be actually degrading the neurons, stopping the nerve impulse, neurotransmitter activity disruptions. And cardiotoxins will be mainly producing irregular heartbeats or they will be stopping the heartbeats. Next is the hemotoxin. They will be destroying the red blood cells. They cause blood to clot inside the vas vessel. So the difference between poisonous and non-poisonous scale, whenever we have to identify them are, the poisonous has head scales small. That is the small head scales will be present but in case of non-poisonous it's large. In case of poisonous there is two dots in the teeth mark and semicircle bite mark in non-poisonous. Compressed tail will be in the poisonous, blunt tail will be in the non-poisonous. So you can see venomous there will be pits on the head. Pits will be present, no pits on the head. Elliptical pupils will be present and here it will be around. There are many characteristics. So water snake which is non-venomous round pupil. So you can see so the elliptical pupil that is pit vipers that will be actually the uh, poisonous in case of non-venomous it's round pupil and rounded head here it is triangular head in case of vipers and venomous snakes see venomous will be having this like shape non-venomous will be having the round shape so round head non-venomous triangle head non-venomous these are exceptions so these are some non-poisonous snakes. So see the bike of bite. Non-venomous snake will be having a semi-circular bite mark, whereas venomous snake will be having small two dots. These are some differences between cobra and viper. So see the clinical. Uh, how does the animal get a dog bite? Because animals will be going near the snakes and they will be trying to bite, it, so they'll be getting the snake bite. This is a python making a calf. So these are the factors affecting snake bite toxicity. So part bitten if bitten on the face and trunk, it's most lethal. Site injected directly into the bloodstream. Uh, bite characteristic type of bite that is actually business bite or defense bite. So these are the mechanism of action of neurotoxins. They will be destroying the neurons. They will be binding to the proteins and inhibiting the neuronal manifestations so crate will be having presynaptic action and cobra will be having postsynaptic action so crate it's presynaptic action beta bangara toxin phospholipase 18 inhibiting the release of acetylcholine from presynaptic membranes now cobra is postsynaptic they will be by binding to curare mimetic toxins and alpha neurotoxins and they will be preventing the opening of sodium channel associated with acetylcholine receptor so you can see the features local pain and tissue damage will be rare in the case of cobra bite in crates there will be no such things now venom discharge in case of cobra approximately 200 milligram is discharged per bite but 12 to 15 milligram is just needed for it so diagnosis you will be having two lacerated punctures fang marks immunoassay no there are many lab finding methods so treatment uh, we should have to go for anti-venom because anti-venom will be neutralizing the bad effects of 
venom. So since we are administering anti-venom, because anti-venoms are produced from the rabbit serum or the whole serum, uh, some species will be having serum sickness that is leading to extra histamine release and many other problems. So we have to add diphenhydramine which will compensate the histamine release. Antibiotics, means uh, antibiotics should be administered because the mouth flora of snake will be having a big bacterial flora that can produce many bacterial infection that can lead to toxemia and septicemia. So we have to use antiseptics and proper removal of the venom is needed. So we have to continuously use diuretics and to maintain the body salt water balance, we have to use fluid therapy. Also we have to use for tetanus toxoid and in case of the vipers and the, not for the vipers, but for the cobra, we have to respiratory assistance because the respiratory paralysis will be happening and this is the main cause of death. So we have to respiratory assist. We have to give doxapram or any analeptics something. So thank you guys.